Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> now we got in the singer Jesse J, Casey, and Coco Lee. Coco Lee? Coco Lee. Yeah. I think yeah. it's Coco Lee. Yeah, so they, they, um, yeah, Coco yeah, Lee. And she, the three of them are gonna sing, uh, bang, bang into the room. And now you got a bang, bang all over you. This is from that show, The Singer. The Singer. When Jesse J was there. Yeah. In 2018, that's actually fairly recent. Fairly recent, I got, yeah. I, I thought she was there a while back, but no, she she was there, yeah, two years ago. She's yeah. really good. And now, uh, we, we thought, because we've watched uh, Jesse J sing with Morissette, mm-hmm. and now we're going to watch her sing with KZ. And we're going to be introduced to a new power singer. Coco Lee. That's so right. So, maybe is that why Jesse J is also loved in the in Philippines? Asia. But specifically in Philippines, so much. Well, in China as well. She's loved in China. Like That's adore. why she went there, though, didn't yeah. she? To sort of build up that audience. Because mm-hmm. it, I read in one of the comments, and then I, I, I also read in some articles, uh, that the reason why the show exists is because the audience is so... Cons- it, China, the Chinese audience and that market, not the audience, the market, it's very conservative. Oh, right. And it's very towards its roots. So, so it's very it's difficult to, to access in. that market. Yeah. However, this way, it has proved that Chinese uh, 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 population, Chinese people are, you know... Open-minded. Not open-minded. They just like good music. So if you're from another... It doesn't matter where you're from, another planet or what, but it's just accessing the market, which is difficult. So having shows like this allows international singers to build up an international or Chinese uh, uh, fan base. It's freaking awesome. Because, dude... Chinese market is huge. It's, it's huge. Generous. They have their own Hollywood. They, they have their they, own, uh, 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 you know, singers and their own music. You could basically just live off of a Chinese music production. Yeah. The, your whole life. The, that's right. Yeah, it's it's really cool. I'm really I really like the setting of the show, and I I adore the fact that they they are the ones that choose the songs. They are the ones that no arrange the songs. Uh, they, they pick everything that's about to happen here. And the live band is actually totally insane. Yeah, so, so I, li- I like to see what they do on this one. Yep, me too. <laughs> I think they're gonna keep it pretty, pretty similar to the original. I think. Maybe Already not. Isn't. <laughs> She's insane, dude. Oh, she's so good! Oh! Ah. She's pretty tall, no? Yeah, she's really tall. <laughs> so bizarre yeah it's very strange ah Coco is so hot that's pretty awesome she's a diva (laughs) oh Jesus one above? Yeah, what, what the key change? Where you come from? Woo! That's good. Hey. Nice outfits as well. I know, they're so freaking cool. This is such a bizarre arrangement. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh, it's so natural! She's really trying. 
Yeah, she's not even trying hard. <laughs> Jessie J is such a hype woman, isn't she? She is, she is. She's the perfect wing woman. <laughs> This is such a weird arrangement. It's so strange. I think it it because it's the live band version of it. We're so used to the commercial uh, production mm -hmm. that has the fat mm -hmm. bass that is totally produced with a with, with a computer, where is so where weird. everything is so weirdly um, amped up to just fit the the pop vibe. Mm -hmm. It's actually so weird to have a stripped human touch version of this song. Yeah, it sounds kind of bizarre. It's a highly commercial pop song, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it is, it is going to cause that effect of like, I feel like something's missing because it doesn't have the commercialized feel to it. Mm -hmm. But what I feel is, is, is bizarre. Maybe weird is not the right word. I think bizarre might be the right word. It's like, uh, it's, it's made with instruments that we've never heard. Yeah. So yeah, it's a know, new sound to a familiar sound that we know how the melody goes. Yeah. Because it was a worldwide hit. But it's now being done by instruments that I've never heard in my life. That's true. That is bizarre. Excellent point. Uh, and wasn't it interesting that to fit, I think it was to fit the, the natural harmonies of the uh, string instrument at the beginning that I have no idea what it's called, so I'm sorry about that. Um, should apologize. Uh, just don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But do you and know sure how they people changed? People kindly let you know what it is. Please, please let me know. <laughs> um, you know how they did the key change? I think it was to fit the instrument, and then they went back to the original key of the song. Yeah, it was how it was written, and it, it made it gave you such a shock factor, with, with doesn't it? Cheeky, cheeky psychological. Uh, juju because it makes you feel like they went up one when originally that's actually how it's sung so it yeah. makes you feel like they're working so much harder than they are that's why they feel so comfortable absolutely so yet more impressive yeah clever but uh coco lee just got some vocals that required zero effort i feel my prediction is i think kz is about to rap i think so too it, i think she's gonna fits. do the nikki part it fits. it fits that yeah me too <laughs> The audience are having a, a blast. It was such a hit, dude. Yeah. Let's go! Woo! Hey. Come on! Oh, yeah. Oh, she came out of nowhere. Oh, that was so fire! She can do so much, dude. It's crazy. Oh, she's so good! That that bang. So freaking cool. I mean, come on. People are turning up, dude. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh Jesus. Hey. Oh, can you hear them? <laughs> can you see me vibing though? Look at us. This is vibing. wild. So you're singing in Chinese now. <laughs> Outstanding, dude. Jesse J is outstanding. Ah, so good. Oh, God. <laughs> I know it's wild. Wow. Oh, she's such a stage woman. 
you get it. Freaking wild! That is a performance win, like a winning award performance, award winning performance. That's what I'm trying to say. Performance winning, <laughs> winning award, winning award <laughs> performance, something. They were so good. It's kind of wild. I think. It's so strange. I think um. I think it just really. It works when you when you bring someone like Jesse J. Because she's outstanding. No, no, like I mean what I what I said about her being a hype woman in terms of she allows others to shine mm. without you know her sacrificing her own shine or, or overshadowing other people. We we talk about this often where there's a lot of songs that can be oversung and this would be a song that could be oversung to some extent. It the was. only reason yeah. why I see people not enjoying this. It's because it can't get too much. Yeah. Completely understandable. That's why at the beginning I'm like, this is this is gonna be really bizarre because I'm listening to new sounds I haven't heard before, and I'm also listening to a song that I know she is going to go nuts. You know, she's yeah. gonna belt, she's gonna riff, she's gonna, and then they're gonna do that whole contrapunteo. I don't know what you call that in English. Yeah, it's it overlays. Vo- yeah, vocals. you know where they kind of like uh, call communi- and response. Yeah. yeah. And then I thought, okay, well, Casey is gonna come and rap. That makes sense. But I wish, I actually wish I would have seen more Casey at the end of... Singing. Where she does that jazzing yeah. thing. Yeah. That yeah, would have yeah. fit, I feel, where, okay, let's go a bit quieter. Let's do a bit more... You know what I mean? So it's not that I'm... The song is good. It's always been good. I just wish the arrangement would have allowed me to then maybe come down a little and enjoy all three of them in a in an aspect that would have been more like a, a singular. I think you needed more dynamics. I believe that because of the nature of the song, yeah, it was expected. I guess to yeah, be you're this. Right. Yeah, to some extent, yeah. And and this was the right arra- right arrangement. Yeah. For for this song, because it fitted culturally the Chinese market. Okay. But it didn't let down the original idea of the song. Actually, it over delivered. It's a brilliant idea to put All that right? instrument in. I love that. Perfect, but I do believe that. Perhaps they could have played with dynamics a little bit more. So halfway through the song, maybe just before or after the rap, they could have brought it down a bit. Allow another low. Yeah, a, like allowed a second build up to come in rather than go straight in hard the whole time. From from the rap all the way down to the end. Yeah. Was a whole it, it was a race, you know? It was it was, it was, like, it was yeah. go, 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 go. Rush, 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 rush. But then maybe to to play devil's advocate on this one, wouldn't you then feel that that is actually what the song is, though? It is a hype song. It, it is, is a bang. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's what I mean. So for... for so th- arrangement for the song, you'd agree, it's the right one to make. Definitely. But I, from your perspective, taking your perspective into consideration, I would have liked perhaps a, 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 another fall in the dynamic before yeah. you finish the song with a bang. Yeah, let us know, you know what you think. because I've always, uh, But that's just personal opinion. Let us know what you think. And, I, and, I, and I'm very interested in seeing how this was received and what you guys think about it now. Well, the audience because response I enjoy, in there was beautiful. Uh, well, absolutely. Uh, but I enjoy all three of those singers. Definitely. I, I really do. And this experience of watching it as a first time is one of those moments where you're like, it's going to leave a mark in your memory. Definitely. For sure. I mean, those are... Perfectly wonderful vocalists coming together in such a weird environment and in in a very dynamic um, um, arrangement. Let us know what you thought. Very interesting. Very good performance, but very interesting sort of thoughts that come come with it. So let us know what you think. Sub people, if you're a dancer. <laughs> Sub people, if you're watching this and you're a rapper or a beat producer. A singer, a ghostwriter, or even just somebody who likes new music. And this is for you. Feature Friday is the show where we make new music every week featuring your tracks, your raps, your lyrics, or yourself as an artist. There's no catch. This isn't one of those weird posts where you click on the website and you're trying to order airports and they say it's free and then you have to pay like a hundred thousand million dollars for uh, shipping. Uh, this is completely free. We understand how difficult it is in the music industry to get seen and there's so many amazing rappers and singers and beat producers out there. So this is just a place to showcase your skills. We showcase our skills. We make music every week, which we love doing anyways. We get to show new artists to new people and new people to new artists. So if you'd like to get featured next, message me here on Instagram or email me and we will get in touch pretty soon. Please do it fast because uh, a waiting list is forming and we don't want anyone waiting around. Keep scrolling by. See you Friday. Peace. 
Bye-bye.